In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up program switching on the IV3 by using the add-on instructions. This is going to continue in my current program where I set up my trigger, as you can see here. If you need more information on how to properly trigger the IV3, please reference that trigger video. But to start with program switching, we're going to right click on add on instructions and say import add on instructions. Then we will select our switch program and hit OK. And you can see that populate right here. So now we'll go back to the parameters and local tags and click the edit tags tab. And here we're going to need to create our IV switch program function. The data type we're going to change to our IV switch program and hit OK. And the description will be AOI for Kiens IV3 program switching. Next, we'll go back to the main routine, and I'm going to add a rung here and drag over my IV switch program AOI. From this first dropdown, we are going to select our IV switch program function. For the input module data, we will select the IV3 input assembly, integer 197. And for the output module data, we will select our IV3 output data integer 6. Now let's hop back into the program parameters and local tags. And we are going to add a switch program request. And the data type will be a Boolean. We're also going to add a switch program done. That will be Boolean as well. Going back to our main routine, we're going to add a rung. And the first element we are going to add is our switch program request. Then we are going to add our one shot. The third element is going to be a move command. For the source, this is going to be target program number. And the destination is going to be IV switch program function. And if we expand this down, this is going to be our target program number. And finally, we are going to add our last element, and this will be IV switch program function switch program request. Lastly, we will add our target program number. The data type is going to be integer. I'm going to add a rung comment for IV3 program switching. Here we need to add one more rung. We're going to add in our element for the switch program request. The next element will be IV switch program. The IV switch program done. And lastly, we will have the 
switch program done. So now our ladder logic for our program switching is complete. I'm going to put this into run and do a side by side with my IV3 software. So right now you can see I am on program zero. So if I were to change my target program to one, for example, and then I will toggle this bit for the program switching request, you can see that my program has changed to program one. If I were to change this to program four, for example, and I can turn this off and back on, you can see I've successfully changed to program four. I'll change this back to a zero. And you can see it's back to my original program. If I go ahead and send this trigger request bit, you can see it's taking a picture. I hope this video helped explain how to use the add-on instructions for IV3 program switching. But if you have additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Option 2 for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.